Oh, that tastes like a good movie. Hey guys, this is my review for Wonder Woman and it didn't suck. After the mixed reviews for Man of Steel, the absolute blunderbust that was Batman vs Superman and the edited mess of which I was far too lenient on that was Suicide Squad. Wonder Woman was a movie that I was actually really kind of worried about. There was a video I did a little while ago talking about how they were doing reshoots and I was really hoping that they weren't going to screw it up. They didn't. This film is really good. It is a superhero origin story but it is a good superhero origin story. The first thing I will say that this film has is its pacing. Its pacing is phenomenal. For a movie that knows that it's doing something that it's done before, it doesn't care, and it still focuses on creating a great story with good characters. Opening part with a child, normally that would take maybe what, two, three minutes? It doesn't. It keeps going. It adds a little bit more time. Every time there's a scene or a character that you wouldn't think would last very long, it actually lasts a little bit longer. I'm so used to shitty pacing in movies that I was taken aback about how good the pacing was. The editing in this movie is fantastic. The story pacing is great. The whole progression from young little Diana to Gail Gatto Diana was fantastic and the things that follow with her in her relationship with Chris Pine being introduced to the world finding out about what real man is and the whole aspect of what is beyond Themyscira was so good there was one little thing that kept on coming to mind though. It is literally this movie except at a different age. Bruce Timm and DC Animated did a Wonder Woman movie back in 2009 I think and this movie's great. I even got Bruce Timm to sign it. It is very similar. The whole idea of Diana on a hunt for Ares but possibly being mistaken in the, in the real world and kind of adjusting and finding out the kind of cultures of man. However, this new one definitely adds a much more depth, much more emotionality, and more maturity while at the same time being a fun, funny movie. The action scenes are fantastic. The first time that Diana gets up onto the wall, goes up over the wall, and charges at the Germans was so freaking cool. There's the scene of them on the beach. That was also really cool. The only thing I will say that might have taken a, ba a bit back from the fight scenes was sometimes the choreography went from really fast like what we saw Wonder Woman do at the end of Batman vs Superman to kind of slow and clunky. There was a lot of slow motion used which is funny because Zack Snyder was probably like oh I want to do slow motion again because oddly enough if you've noticed in Man of Steel and in Batman vs Superman there was like no slow motion which is what he was trademarked for. Petty Jenkins uses a lot of slow motion in this movie. Maybe a little bit too much, but not so much to really affect me. I still thought that it was really well placed. The story is something I will say that I actually, you know what, it kind of takes you for a ringer because it actually has a little bit of an interesting sort of dynamic to it. The whole idea of her hunting Ares and finding Ares in that of the German forces was interesting. And Gail Gatto, you know what, you did it again. I was a little bit afraid that she wouldn't be able to hold a main character role. She was great as Wonder Woman in Batman vs Superman, but she had a very small, like she was in it for 20 minutes. I was a little bit afraid that she wouldn't be able to handle the main title role, but she does well. And the funny thing is, I remember having my doubts about her when she was first cast, and then I looked up her past and that she was a, a, <laughs> she was a soldier for the Israeli forces. So. Yeah, she can kick ass. It does follow the superhero cliche, but this is a female action superhero movie. Marvel hasn't done this shit yet. It's amazing. And Patty Jenkins and Gail Gatto do a fantastic job. Chris Pine is really good. There's these additional side characters that aren't given a lot of time here, say, and they are still really great. Mind you, there is an Indian who is on their team who says he's on no one's side, yet he's clearly on 
the Allied side because he fights the Germans. I don't know what was the point of that dialogue. I still enjoyed this movie. Gail Gatto does a great job as Diana, bringing her into a world that she doesn't understand with both humor as well as emotional depth. The ending was a really cool climax, a mid cliched climax, but still really cool. The fight scenes, for the most part, were really interesting, and the entire cast was really well done. So in the end, I will give Wonder Woman a 5 out of 7. I enjoyed this movie. In terms of originality, it does not stand up at all to Logan, but it still is an enjoyable film. It is finally a good DC Extended Universe movie. It somewhat gives me hope for Justice League, but not really. And I enjoyed it. I think it was a good time. By the way, I also will be reviewing this probably today. So I'll tell you guys about the similarities and whatnot in this. So in the end, guys, hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time.